extra light. Um, I think I'll keep on doing some uh, speed enforcement you know, tutorials and whatnot because I think they're the easiest. But um, actually, I'm pretty sure this will be the last one for now. But I'll probably make a playlist of speed, uh, you know, speed uh, enforcement. So um, <clears throat> this one is gonna be about lidar gun 1.1. Which, as you can see, it's a laser gun for speed enforcement, and it's by Opus 49 and Ben H. So, you know, shout out to them. It's a very cool plugin. If we look at the screenshots here, you can pull it out, and you can just, you know, see how far away they are from you, how many feet, how fast they're going. And depending on how how hard <coughs> what the speed limit is, you know. And here, as you can see, they're going over 20, 24, so they, we would mark them red. <coughs> <clears throat> and then you can just chase them. So you can take a look at this video if you want to. I don't. I don't really want to. So uh, once you're here, just click uh, download. I'll leave this in the description. So once you're here, click download. Agree and download. Uh, click main files. Don't don't download the older one. Uh, so yeah, it'll it'll take a little bit. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I'm still a bit sick, but. Alright, so once it's downloaded, it shouldn't take that long. Should be in your downloads. Go to your downloads. Uh, you know, and then right click on it. Open with WinRAR. Or if it's already like a WinRAR logo over here, if it's already this logo over here, you can just double click on it and it'll open. Uh, so once you're here, you'll see a lead our gun file in here, or litter, however you want to say it. It doesn't matter, but lead our gun file in here. Sorry if my voice sounds a bit messed up. It's like, uh, I'm. So, yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm hitting puberty or something. I don't. I don't know. But um, once you're here in Lead Argun, just um, double click on it, and you're gonna see. So you're gonna see two files: Grand Theft Auto Five, and then Vintage Pistol Textures. And here you can read it. You can just click the README, which this is a um, Opera GX thing. So, all right. So this there's a tutorial on here and whatnot. Window key. Hmm. Anyways, okay. So, uh, display, you know, credits and whatnot. Uh, I'm not going to read all that. So, you know, okay. So, there's two files. There's uh, Vintage Pistol Textures and Grand Theft Auto 5. We're going to start off with Grand Theft Auto 5. So, Grand Theft Auto 5, go, on, go ahead and go into your plugin. Uh, go ahead and go into here. And uh, be very careful with this next step because uh, this is very important. So, I'm going to go into my main directory, which should be in your local disk, program files, x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, and then Grand Theft Auto 5. And this is my main directory. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of stuff. So, if we look in here, there's two very similar folders, plugins and plugins in here, right? And then there's iptcommon.dll. So, these two files are very important. If these two fi if you mess up on this part, it will cause your game to crash. So, I already have iptcommon in here. If I search up ipt, it's right here. So, let's take a look at here. Let's take a look here. So, IPT 131-2022, which means I have the latest version. There's It hasn't caused any crashes or anything for me, so this is the latest version. So, just, so um, I'm not going to drag and drop since I already have it in there, but this next one, this file, this Rage Native UI, this is very important. So, I'm going to search up Rage Native, and you're going to see I have two files. So, I have one from... Was that May, May 28th, 2022? I don't think there's been an update for it because I haven't had any crashes. And then if you look at the one over here, December 19th, 2021. It's a whole year behind. Well, like six or five months behind. Somewhere around there. Actually, yeah, like six months behind. If you drag and drop the one provided in the RAR file, your game will crash. You will encounter some issues. So do not drag and drop this one. Go to Rage Native UI. Go to the Rage Native UI download and just download it and drag and drop. Okay, so the only thing you need from this folder is the plugins folder. Drag and drop it into there. And if we go into plugins, LSPDFR, look at that. Lead our done. 
and in here configuration settings right click on it and edit OM period this is well I don't know what that is but so obviously there's controls uh, you use uh, numpad or number seven on the numpad on the num on the right you can change this to whatever you want um, to open it so and then yeah so you're gonna need the vintage pistol for this um, so yeah and then the vintage pistol textures um, so in order to install this, let's let's look at the readme real quick. Yeah. So, all right, you're gonna need Open IV for this next part. Let me close this out. So you're gonna need Open IV for this next part. Can I like please close this out? You know, you're just not gonna let me close it out. Fucking opera, dude. Forty tabs. Holy shit. Anyways, you're gonna need Open IV for this next part. So go ahead and open up your Open IV. Yeah, click Windows and whatnot. Go into Grand Theft Auto 5. Take a little bit right here. All right. Once you're in here, go into Mods, Update, X64, DLC Packs, and find Patch Day 8 NG. Once you once you're in Patch Day 8 NG, DLC.RPF, X64, Models, CDI Images, and Weapons.RPF. All right. And obviously, as you can see here, there's a bunch of files I. There's a bunch of weapons here. Like, as you can see, I've replaced my carbine rifle, right? This is where all my weapon mods are at. So, once you're here, if we look at the readme, it'll say the exact same instructions. Yep, patch day 8 and G. It's correct. Now, just grab these and drag and drop them. And if we look for the vintage pistol, um, there it is. If we look, if we click on the YDR, there you go. That's the lead art done. There you go. Um, if you, if you ever want to replace the lead arc, if you ever want to replace it with the old vintage pistol, you can just drag and drop the one from the, um, actual game file and just, like, drag them onto your desktop and then drag them into your mods folder, but uh, I'm not going to do that. So, after that, you're done. After that, you're pretty much done. Um, I'll go ahead and go in game here in a second and show you what it looks like here in a second. So, um, yeah, I'll see you in the game. And just place it I'm gonna place it all the way over here and then right click and then there you go see how easy that is that's why I love um that's why I love opus 49's plugins because it's so easy you don't have to like hold down the right key for an eternity so if I aim in and let's say eh, wait like okay see kilometers per hour if I hold it down, he's going 65 kilometers an hour. Uh, I'm going to set it back to um, false for that. And that guy, he's going 77 miles, so 70, about 80. And I'm not sure what the speed limit here is. Oh, and if, if you move, if you, if you click W, you can just, yeah. So, let's say, I think it has like a certain amount of range so like the uh, here they have to be kind of close to you so 44 so let's say uh, the speed limit here is 50 so let's say for role playing purposes the speed limit here is uh, 50 alright so I'm going to wait for somebody to just be by that's, a, that's another state trooper so let's say speed limit here is 50 that guy's going 74 so Obviously, you can see that it marks them on the map. It has like a nice yellow blip on it for you. 